Last weekend, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, and UN Refugee Agency Special Envoy Angelina Jolie visited Turkey to commemorate World Refugees Day. In 2014, Turkey was recognised for sheltering the largest number of refugees in the world. The agency has praised Turkey's efforts and has called upon other countries to follow Turkey's example of an open-door policy. New legislators took their oaths on June 23rd in an official ceremony held at the parliament to form the 25th government of Turkey. 550 lawmakers were elected to the parliament in June 7th's election. The over 10-hour ceremony was one of many firsts, including the highest number of women and minority representation witnessed in Turkey's history. Meanwhile, the Governing Justice and Development Party, or AK Party, Ankara Deputy Lutfiye Salvajam was the first deputy to be sworn into parliament while wearing a headscarf. The nation's first non-Turkish-speaking deputy, a pledge of pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, or HDP, Deputy Felek Naz Uja was also sworn in. During the week, political parties all announced their candidates for parliament speaker election. On June 26, the AK Party nominated incumbent Defence Minister Ismet Yilmaz as their parliament speaker. On June 24, the Republican People's Party, or CHP, announced that Denis Baikal, who currently serves as interim speaker until the election of new parliament speaker next week, is also a candidate. Also on June 24, the Nationalist Movement Party, or MHP, announced its parliament speaker candidate. The MHP has presented Deputy Ekmeletin Ihsanoğlu, who was the joint presidential candidate of the CHP and MHP in last year's election. The HDP named Dengir Mir Mehmet Furat, a former vice president and deputy of the AK party, as its candidate for its parliament speaker. On June 25th, Israeli authorities deported nine Turkish citizens, including journalists and NGO members, following a six-hour interrogation. The people who were interrogated told that they were questioned about the identity of organisers of Turkey's pro-Palestine marches as well as Turkey's aid to Palestinians. The Turkish citizens were also asked many questions regarding the AK party. The Turkish Foreign Ministry has confirmed the claims of a secret meeting in Rome between Israeli Foreign Ministry Director General Dore Gold and Turkish Foreign Ministry Under Secretary Ferudun Sinirlioğlu to resume frozen relations in normalisation efforts. The relations had frozen following the Israeli raid of Mavi Marmara aid flotilla in international waters in 2010 that killed 10 Turkish citizens. Sirius Kobani came under attack by ISIS militants who carried out three car bombing attacks by the Murshid Pinar border gate with Turkey. Some circles quickly put the blame on Turkey, accusing the ISIS militants of crossing the border from Turkey. Video footage released by security officers of the border gate disproved the claims showing the militants entered Kobani from Syria. This was also confirmed by Kurdish militia fighting ISIS. Reports suggested this week that Turkish officials are debating cross-border action to ensure a safe zone for border security against national security threats.